nine. No, no, we uh, we've done a lot of leaching of fovic acids, and the first thing we found out is when you leach fovic and humic acids, you dilute them. They're never as strong as they are when they stay in their natural form. Now, if lignite lenardite, which they are getting a lot of fovic acid from, is coal. So you have coal fovic humic acids. And uh, the other one is peat. Peat has, uh, in my opinion, has rodents and snakes and bugs. And, and so you have all their droppings in the peat. So no, we don't use any of that. We, if we're going to leach at all, and we do leach for agricultural products like drip systems, irrigation, and things like that, we leach it from our product after it's formulated, not before. We formulate it first so that we can pick up all of the additional nutrients that we add to the product. So only do we leach for agriculture. Right now we do not leach any fovic products that we use in health products. My name is Howard Terrell. I've been involved with uh, fovic humic acid research since 1969. Uh, I'm the CEO of uh, Humate Technologies, a number of other companies that we deal with fovic humic clay minerals. And we would love to assist you and love to help you. And we're, our main purpose is to develop the best products in the world for you and to make them affordable for you.